With the day before the flood, I left on a trip to Afghanistan for a research project. I'd been there only a day or two when I received uh, a phone call from the U.S. Embassy. And the man said, I have a telegram for you here. Would you like to hear it? I said, yes, of course. And the telegram was exactly four words long. It said, museum destroyed, return immediately. I couldn't get a phone call through for a full 24 hours and finally did and heard about the flood. And I wasn't able to get out of uh, Kabul to get home until about uh, almost a week later, I think it was. The water had come through, it was to a depth of about five feet, four inches. Now I'm over six feet tall and that water would have been up to here throughout the entire gallery. And you sort of look around or are overcome by the whole thing and you say to yourself, what in the world are we gonna do next? How do we start? That initial shock hit and when I had walked in, there were people were just coming out of that shock. The materials had begun to be moved around, sorted. The water had passed away. There was cleanup going on. I think the thing that really brought us through this stage was the clear focus on an objective, our own idealism, our own dedication to that collection. The people in the museum were young, and the institution itself was young. Uh, we were inexperienced, we were idealistic, we thought we could do anything. Everything we did was exciting, everything we did was new, and we knew very well we were going to be able to do that. We were really in that stage that was so impressive to me, the stage of getting down to it, having a goal, and showing this great human resilience that we all have. Thank you.